Autofocus is useful if not required while performing time-lapse microscopy over any significant duration. Biological changes including cell growth and migration in the z-axis will change the desired focus. Microscope precision and accuracy is another source of focus error. Higher magnification objectives require more exquisite focus due to their more narrow depth of field. Generally, autofocus is done in one of two ways. First, laser-based distance measurements are made to the labware surface, and an offset is used from there to the actual focal plane of the cells. These systems are fast but more expensive and rely on that offset accuracy. The second way is image-based autofocus and relies on measuring and maximizing image contrast at various focus positions within an expected range. Deconvolution kernels are used to remove noise and measure the nearest neighbor pixel gradient for each pixel. An overall image contrast value is the sum of these pixel gradients for every pixel in the image. In the LumaView application, an expected focus level and range are set, and an algorithm samples the range at smaller and smaller step sizes until the maximum image contrast is found. If we ask the software to perform an autofocus when given an expected true focus level and a range to search, we see that the algorithm uses sequentially smaller steps and reduced range until identifying a contrast maximum. It's important to understand the image characteristics that lead to reliable autofocus. Not surprisingly, this comes down to the fidelity of this contrast plot. Here are two examples of typical contrast plots for bright beads and a prepared slide in green fluorescence. Note the higher background and lower peak height for the real cell image. Here we see that the number of objects, or the amount of edges in an image, improves the autofocus result as we would expect. Three-dimensional or thick objects exhibit a flattened contrast peak as expected in this phase contrast image of buccal cells. This demonstrates the concept that there is no single focus in a 3D object whose thickness is greater than the depth of field of the objective. An interesting effect is from background. As the brightness of the background increases, the increased noise in the image causes an increase in pixel-to-pixel -pixel differences that are measured as contrast. Finally, here are some real examples of image quality issues and their effect on the autofocus plot. As illumination is decreased, signal decreases, and so does the contrast plot. In this slide, background is increased with gain, and the resulting plots are shown. It should be said that even small peaks in the plot can be used to find focus, but its reliability will decrease. Image-based autofocus is only as reliable as the image used. Paying attention to labware autofluorescent, reagent background, and the excitation and gain settings is critical for successful autofocus. Using the contrast plot to evaluate autofocus reliability is a powerful tool included in LumaView. I hope this was helpful, and thank you.